lions of the dog world, the boar bull, and the bull mastiff. What is the difference between them? Despite the changes in dog society, large mastiff breeds remain popular as they are a serious deterrent against burglars in the yard of a family houses. The uncrowned kings of giant mastiff breeds are the boar bull and bull mastiff. What can a future owner expect when choosing between these two breeds? Similar stature, different past. The Boer Bull is a South African Mastiff breed bred by Dutch Boer settlers who immigrated there to protect their property, persons, and animals. The Boer Bull is a fantastic breed with over 300 years of history and has always served its owners under the harshest conditions he had to protect his territory from indigenous peoples, understandably not very friendly to white farmers, and from the world's most dangerous African beasts, hyenas, baboons, leopards, and lions. Under these conditions, only the strongest, hardiest individuals could survive, which could compete with the wild and adapt to extreme weather conditions. These dogs typically protected the goods entrusted to them in packs of a few dozen individuals, and had to inspect vast, almost infinite areas daily. The Bull Mastiff, on the other hand, is another breed of dog designed for a very special purpose, which began to be bred in 19th century England by crossing the English Mastiffs with the old English working Bulldogs. In England at that time, the common people were not allowed to hunt freely, but the continuous famines increased the number of poachers, who, in their desperation, posed a serious threat not only to game, but also to hunters. Since the punishment for illegal hunting at that time could be death, the stakes were high, and the poacher caught in the act naturally did everything possible to escape. The goal with bull mastiffs was to breed a dog with enormous physical strength that could catch any strong adult male and keep it on the ground until their owner arrived on the scene. The end result was a large yet agile and efficient dog that used its body weight to maim the intruder, but typically did not tear its victim apart, partly so that it could be brought to justice. Giants in everything. Both dogs are of enormous stature, and when anybody meets them, feels the primordial power they represent. However, burbles are about 25% more weighted, with larger males weighing up to 80 to 90 kilograms. The weight of the bull mastiff is not small either, Males usually weigh around 60 kilograms. In the canine world, individuals with larger heads usually have the greater bite force. For these two breeds, the bite strength is estimated by experts to be above 500 PSI, which is confirmed by official measurements. The barking strength of both breeds is astonishing, deep, powerful, and quite alarming. The Burble and Bull Mastiff are both Mastiff descendants with in many respects, similar behaviors with the pros and cons of Mastiffs. Both breeds are dominant, prone to stubbornness and independent activities. Training and preparation require a hard hand, patience and practice. In the right hands, they are extremely maneuverable, very human-centered, owner-centric dogs. Health and integration. Bourbals mainly due to ruthless selection in their past, are a very healthy breed, do not need to visit the vet every month, and hip dysplasia is almost an unknown among them, partly due to relative obscurity and lack of fashion breeding. Despite, or compared to its giant stature, they usually have fantastically long lives. Not uncommon among them are individuals aged 12 to 13 years. Bull Mastiffs, partly because of their popularity and notoriety, were much more likely to suffer civilizational health problems. As is typical of other large, now urbanized and softened up molossers, they are prone to hip joint problems and other diseases of the musculoskeletal system, as well as heart muscle problems. Their lifespan is typically eight to 10 years. The popularity of the Bull Mastiff is also due to the fact that it is one of the most family-loving and kid-friendly individuals in the dog world. It is fantastic how patient they are with the younger generation and how attached they are to their human pack mates. The Burble is more unpolished in this respect. It is harder for them to tolerate rarely seen members of the family, 
Moreover, due to its huge weight and dominance, its coexistence with young children is more problematic. So, if you inevitably want a giant mastiff and want a calmer breed that fits more easily into urban, suburban, and family environments, you should look for a dog around the houses of bull mastiff breeders. However, if you would like to have an incorruptible guardian protector far above the average strength of other dogs, and you can provide a huge space and your property is properly fenced, a burbul is the better choice. Although keeping in a city apartment is not ideal for the bull mastiff either, this breed is able to adapt to this situation. For a nearly 90 kilogram burbul at full strengths, such conditions are unthinkable since his physical strength alone is enough to knock down a condominium door if he hears a loud noise from outside, which he considers a danger or threat.